Hello everybody and welcome back to my Fallout New Vegas playthrough. Where last time we finally exited the town and then died a bunch of times. But that'll be fine. So here's an interesting bit. Uh, there is a uh, guard who is supposed to usually stop you before you actually hit the checkpoint. But hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called uh, r slash realmhq. Other than that, back to your regularly scheduled checkpoint. program. But I'm already past the checkpoint. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. What's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Shouldn't you be protecting the town or something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why can't you protect them? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Okay. Let's go ahead over there. I'm surprised he didn't ask about the armor, but it's like... Alright. There's some medical supplies, it looks like. Alright, grab you guys. So here's the thing I will state. So I'm not entirely sure how I should essentially... Uh... Okay, well again, <clears throat> I'm doing a Mr. House playthrough. But it wouldn't... Uh, but he does typically go through um, the... What is it? He... He, try, he usually brings on board or no what is it his basic idea or his stuff is that he wants the NCR to win the initial battle and then he'll just screw, or screw over the NCR so that's the whole thing is that to my knowledge the play is to have the NCR built up and then, well, it's essentially an NCR playthrough, except for the fact that I don't actively have to do all their quest. I can just go screw off and help. I'm Lieutenant Mr. Hayes of the New California Republic Army, Fifth Battalion, First Company. What's your business? What are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. What's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. Convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Tell me about the Correctional Facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And I've been ransacking the area since then. Do you have any information on the convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Got some other questions. Uh, what's the new California Republic? Where do you come from that you haven't heard of the NCR? Never mind, it doesn't matter much. If you haven't heard of us, you must not be from the Legion. Put simply, the NCR is the greatest nation currently functioning. Can you tell me more about the NCR? Sure can. The NCR was founded from the survivors of one of the great vaults. We started as a small settlement called Shady Sands. We now consist of five states that make up the greatest nation since the Great War. It's the Legion. 
Caesar's Legion. A bunch of degenerate slavers led by a madman who calls himself Caesar. Every one of them is a barbarian to the last. I've even heard one of their leaders, the Legate or something, goes around with a human skull on his head. Savages to the last. Why is the NCR interested in this desert? Well, it's no secret. Our interest here is twofold. First, we want to remain in control of Hoover Dam. It supplies the Republic with power and is a source of fresh water. Second, we want to prevent the Legion from advancing across the Colorado River and endangering the home states. And say for now. Goodbye. All right. Well, that was informational. But we still need to head into Prim, so... Let's go across the bridge. Yeah, I think I'll primarily just try to help out the NCR. Because there's not outright a reason not to. And if we're taking it from the roleplay standpoint... The idea is, is that we will eventually cause the NCR to crumple in on itself. So as long as I help the NCR itself and not allow it to exactly exert more control of the territories, making it so that the territories inside can be a hell of a lot more independent, then yeah, that's the whole idea. I gotta disarm all these guys. God damn it, that's not gonna help. <clears throat> Jalapeno. Oh. Okay, apparently they're half pound. Serpentine, Serpentine. So I kinda hail- Ooh. It's like, ooh. Kinda funny cause he's like, ah, oh, hail. Ugh. And this guy's just like, ah. Get shot from the rear and then just completely get. Fuck! Okay, this is what my issue is. The fucking camera keeps dying on me. God damn it. I don't know, maybe if I plugged it into a different slot, and that would maybe help it? just for some fucking reason is having the most fucking issue just trying to fucking stay on I'll say how long does it last until it fucking corrupts anyway uh yes the varmint rifle go ahead and repair the one I have You're still dressed as, the as a member of the NCR Legion. Well, that's good to know. I know. Uh, this looks like there should be someone here. I don't know why there isn't the guy there. Huh, what's this? Uh, okay. 65. Okay, so I need a science skill of 55, or I need a repair skill of the other one. I don't suppose I got something like Programmer's Digest, do I? Alright, there we go. Examine. Run the bypass. 
Yay, and then I can fix it now. Well, hello there, EDE. -E. Hey, that's cool. Uh, there's so much snow outside. All right, uh, well, let's go. You know, this roller coaster looks really cool. I wonder if you can go all around it. Gonna be stealthy. Okay, well that wasn't stealthy. Ooh, he got hit. And now he's gone. It's like, oh, I can't. I can't. God, what, what is with that stupid jittering? Oh great, we leveled up. Alright. Uh enough speech got pushed hard. Let's do mm. I'm all the way up to there and then barter. And then probably my guns. Yeah, let's go with repair and then I need educated because that's very important anyway all right yeah it's just like ah but he had a stim pack oh uh is no I can't I can't even do anything because I need so there's a perk called jerry rig or jury rigging. I think I have no way of unlocking that without. Okay, oh, that's right. Save. So that way I can actually unlock it. Okay, hammers. Only one of them was right. Oh, that's right this stuff so there's a part of the hacking mini game where you can actively go ahead and help increase your chance by decreasing the amount of duds and stuff like that and the way you work it is that you find any of the brackets that are f uh, able to f are fully filled in basically so like this stuff like that all right Hammers was not right. The A. A was right. I think. Patterns. Hammers. No. Concern. No, that's too. Content. Good column. the problem it doesn't line up Hankina yeah look, oh fuck okay it's captain okay as three oh fuck um so it's not three of them What if it's... Okay. It would be two, but that's the problem. There's not two in that one. That's not three. Is it content? Fuck. So this is what I mean. That's 
why you save before the terminals. And I'm not kidding when I say it, it locks you out. You cannot at all re-attempt that terminal. It is just screwed over until you get a perk that allows you to attempt uh, ones you've been locked out of. Once again, like, really far into it. Alright, um, let's go with the first one, English. English only has one. No, that went. Yeah, that does. Okay. Believe it's ing. There we go. It's was the ting. The ting goes through. The ting go burr. Okay, disengage log. Wait. Ooh. So it did lock me in. Yeah, shut up, ED. In the middle of doing stuff. Ah, shoot. That's right, we do have EDE now, so we can actually drop off some of our supplies with him. Alright, let's go ahead. Get something we can maintain. Drive machete with the machete. Okay. Doesn't not right help, but it's something. I don't suppose now that I got no. Alright. Oh, ooh, shoot. Pre war. Nope, I need a lock skill 50. EDE. I need to give you some stuff. Primarily just some of my heavy armor. Let's see. Oh, there's nobody here, pal. There's a guy right in front of us. Okay. EDE has such a massive thing. Oh no, he's pulling a... Is my environment rifle all the way fixed? No. Alright. Weapons. Repair my environment. None of our armor rifle. Repair my bomb. Okay. Uh, no. From the looks of it, it's not this place. Um, there's a place where we need pole rockets. It's a very hard floor safe, sadly. So here comes the fun part. So the main enemy has a f incinerator, which will prove vital, but that also it's not going to be easy to take out. My hope is, is I can hit him. Okay, yeah, that does not seem like I hit him. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Do I even have any? Nope. Okay. And then probably just eat something. Try to eat something that isn't going to give me reds, but... That's the one! Yep, that's why. It 
Does anyone smell any burning? Okay, give me a couple of stim. How the fuck did I do that? Oh, fuck! Just the last guy, too. Okay, where did, where did I last save? Oh, don't tell me it's gonna... Great. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is... Oh, fuck, that was the worst one I hit. Yeah, this is why we save a bunch in fucking Fallout games. Because we do dipshit or dipshit stuff. And then we get sent back, like... Typically, it's just minutes, but... It feels like forever. Alright, well... It looks like that stuff's done. Divided. Or, yeah, divided. Chained. The eyes... Slammed? I slammed my penis in the heart. Oh. Anyway. Uh, I'm looking for... I slammed my dog. Fuck. Uh, retired? Wait. I got... Uh, fuck. I don't... Slam. Nope, nothing of that. Chained? No, because that was the whole issue. It reaches. Wait, third one is an A. So I don't know where's the rest of it doesn't match. Started. Don't get me started, alright? Oh my god, I got it. Great. Okay, good. Uh, disengage lock. Huh. Must have been the wind. Go collect the stupid bottle caps. That's all I needed from this room. Okay. Maintenance. Okay, that's an interesting one. It should mean we should actually be able to access the back way. It's nine millimeter. Oh, I've missed quite a few things with this area. That was a good thing. I actually went back through here. All right, EDE. All right, drop a bunch of the armor, and then go ahead. save here so I don't lose all my progress I just made okay okay the main issue is that stuff so if I 
can't go through the bank. Should be able to use the incinerator. Wait, oh sh Oh. I thought he was saying we killed Beagle. I was gonna be really pissed if that somehow happened. I was like, what? No, don't tell me we killed Beagle by accident. And no, I just. Apparently, they we killed a, a big bad, so the guys ran. Like she They did not expect us to go to the side at all. Interesting part, it looks like Deagle's not or Beagle's not even hurt. Usually when somebody is hurt, they show a their health bar show that, hey, don't hit them anymore if they're ally, and then other stuff. Alright. Yeah, that's right, we should And I have two incinerate holes. And that does bring up my ammo count. Alright, let's see about you. Let me go ahead and save. So what you have to say, uh, just in a second. Look at all this stuff to sell, and also use. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Who are you? Oh, I'm Deputy Beagle. And I'm being held hostage. Can you imagine? I'd be most grateful if you would set me free. How'd you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Okay, I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. You should have run away. I don't know how bad I don't know how bad I don't know. If you try to run away instead of fighting it at my side, I'll kill you myself. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Well, good. Doesn't matter, though. We fucking already killed them all. I wonder what I'm dressed as. It couldn't be the NCR, could it? Yeah, that sounds so... Alright, deputy, let's go pull you out. 
Yeah, that's right, those doors don't lead to anywhere. Alright, well we saved Deputy. Kind of by... Okay, what the fuck happened? Holy cow, is the game having issues. The struggle is real. What the oh, hey, there's the dead body. The one that went missing. <laughs> hey, it's Daniel Wayward. What the fuck happened? God damn, is the game struggling? Take a sip from my trusty Vault 13 canteen. Okay. Well, let me go read the note. Okay, oh shoot, um, instructions, deliver the package at the north entrance to the Vegas Strip, by the way, free site. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint. Take possession of the package and pay for the package. Bring payment to Giants. Uh, Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. Uh, one oversized poker chip composed of platinum. Contract penalties, you're authorized. You're an authorized agent of the Mojave Express until the delivery is complete and payment has been processed. Contractually obligated to complete this transaction and materially responsible for any malefacent or loss. Failure to deliver to the proper recipient may result in forfeit of your events and bonus criminal charges and or pursuit by mercenary re reclamation teams. Mave Express is not express is not responsible for any injury or loss you experience as a result of said reclamation efforts. Of the package, uh, da -da -da. manifest two oversized dice composed of fuzzy material. Yada yada yada. Da -da -da -da. Uh, I'm coming in. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. The town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Oh! Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Uh, yeah, I'm a courier with the Mojave. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. No, I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Can you tell me about this job? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was Strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, a chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled? Yeah, got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Do you know who he was? Where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. 
Well, not for me to say. I mean, I was shot, so... Some men stole my package, and a man in a checkered suit. A man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for his supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of the men shot one of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I'd like to ask you about something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Where can I get information on the man that shot me? I'm gonna guess it's just... Had some... I wanted to ask... Uh, nope. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sure. Problem is, I ain't going into my shop. Okay, so he can sell in the shop. I have some questions about ED. That beat up old pile of bolts? What do you want to know? Where'd it come from? The courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I hoped to get it up and running for some courier work, but never could get it running. Any idea what I should do with it? Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. Uh, I'd like to talk about something else. I have some questions about Prim. Well, I'll answer what I can. Do you know where I can find the courier? Sure do. I run the courier office out of my shop. Leastways I did before things went to hell around here. I have some more questions about Prim. I what happened to Prim? Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. He started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First there was just a few thugs rolling through town. But then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something, and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. That's my right. I don't know. What's at Vicky and Vance? That's where we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that as any. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. Let's see. Uh, what's the Bison Steve? It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. All right. Uh, let's see. Why do you keep calling them gangsters? I thought they were called powder gangers. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Uh, I rescued Deputy Beagle. I feel safer already. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's still more of them powder gangers out there than I care to count. What we need around here is a real sheriff. Someone who can help fight off the next attack. And then, yeah. Alright, well, let me go. What? No, they're not heading out yet. Okay, I'm gonna go back there. Nope, never mind. Howdy. Cream Slim. Oh, deputy. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Yeah, we Breaking myself sure out of a did. hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Can you tell? Uh, yeah. Can you tell me about the man in the checker suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. 
I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. What did you mean by skull? Hello again. I don't suppose you dis... What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. You're the only one alive out of the chain of command. I think it would fall to you. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. I'll help bring the law and order back to prison. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. All right. Hey. Well. Hey there. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around the kitchen. Tell me about prim. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So I don't have nothing to say about prim, for the time being at least. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Hmm, I like some of that rad scorpion. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? I don't have any. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. See you. All right, that's cool. Well, it does look like it's a good time to end off the video here. Thank you guys for tuning in all that jazz. Like and subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next video. Other than that, have a great day. Where is the button?